In this video, we're going to look at different circulatory systems in different animals. We're going to review the function of the circulatory system, look at some organisms which do not have a circulatory system, then an open circulatory system, and finally a closed circulatory system. Okay, so the functions of the circulatory system. And we've talked about this in previous videos. We need to transport oxygen and nutrients around the body to the tissues that require that oxygen and nutrients, sugar, proteins, etc. We need to remove carbon dioxide and other nitrogenous waste products from those tissue as the products of respiration. And we also need to transport signaling molecules, uh, for example, hormones, as well as the immune cells, the white blood cells around the body to fight infection. Unicellular organisms do not need a circulatory system. Because of their high surface area to volume ratio, the nutrients that they require and the wastes that they need to expel can diffuse across the cell membrane. However, over large distances, so as organisms get bigger, this, this diffusion becomes ineffective and a specific circulatory system is needed. The simplest kind of circulatory system is an open circulatory system. And this is a system where hemolymph, which is a mixture of the blood or oxygen carrying heme, as well as the interstitial fluid that hangs around between the cells or the lymph, uh, is mixed together. And through some sort of muscle, uh, whether it's a designated muscle inside the body or the rhythmic contraction of, for example, the abdomen, uh, the hemolymph is moved through a network of channels called synapses, uh, bathes the tissue that requires the nutrients and is making the waste products, and then drains back into whatever the pump is to be used again. An open circulatory system is found in most mollusks as well as arthropods or insects. A closed circulatory system is what we as humans have. We have a circulating fluid or blood enclosed in blood vessels, so arteries, veins, capillaries, and transported around the body. So the system consists of the heart and the blood vessels as well as the blood inside it and the nutrients inside that blood travel across the blood vessels to the interstitial fluid which is found outside of the blood vessels. So there is a separation between the blood, the circulatory fluid and the interstitial fluid. Animals that have closed circulatory systems include all vertebrates some mollusks and annelids or worms. In this video, we've looked at the function of the circulatory system bring to bring nutrients, including oxygen, to the cells that require it for respiration, as well as taking away the waste products of that respiration and transporting signaling molecules around the body. We've looked at unicellular organisms which do not have a circulatory system and rely on diffusion of those nutrients and a high surface area to volume ratio. We've looked at an open circulatory system consisting of hemolymph which bathes the body cells in the oxygen rich fluid that is pumped around the body through the synapses or gaps and a closed circulatory system where there is a separation between the circulatory fluid or blood and the interstitial fluid. And that system consists of the heart or a pump of some kind, blood vessels and the blood.